hello everyone welcome to my channel today we will be doing a guest bathroom makeover we are going to make over our guest bathroom um right here in our bathroom you can see is a builder's gray vanity a builder's gray mirror that my husband is carrying out i just want to give this bathroom a change and give it a new look a more update appearance so now this vanity here has got to go. I am done with it. And here my husband is. He just um, sweeping up the little particles from the mirror. Off the counter. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to paint this bathroom, get rid of the blue. Um, we did not paint this bathroom blue. It was done by the previous owners. Um, but we're about to change that. Okay, as you can see right here, we emptied the cabinet. I just hope everyone is doing well and is feeling great. I am in such a good mood today, guys, because I am so glad to see this vanity going. And I am just so happy to give our guest bathroom a makeover. It's time for a change. Try to talk about it. Our history says we'll just argue. And I know you're gonna act a fool. And then no one could tell the difference between me and you, babe, watching from a distance. Hide any feelings. We are not gonna only change out the um, vanity, but we also gonna add a new mirror, a new light fixture new faucets new paint color some extra flooring so we're doing a good many things a good many projects in this bathroom out good riddance I'm glad it's going okay now it's time to tackle the countertop of the cabinet now this countertop was stubborn guys and it did not want to come out my husband was hammering you know um, banging and it did not budge I'm telling you so um, he said let me try something else I don't have time for trying my luck. I've been too hurt before. You're not that special. Just give it up. I think I've had so right here, he's taking a razor and he's cutting right in that groove between the countertop and the backsplash. He's just scoring that area and he's gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. Just to see if it'll make it a little easier to, you know, so he can take it apart. That I don't wanna be your girlfriend, girlfriend. No, I don't wanna be your girlfriend, girlfriend. All I wanna tell is my girlfriend's girlfriend. So I don't wanna be your girlfriend, girlfriend. I know you want me, boy, I can tell. So deep under my spell. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, the vanity is gone. My husband had to wind up breaking it up in pieces to get it out. He was trying to take it out whole, like larger sections, but he had to wind up breaking that thing up and taking it out. So I'm just glad it's gone. So right here, he just added spackle to the wall, you know, that was glued on by the vanity. 
it was glued to the wall so once you break the vanity apart from the wall it tears the um, sheet rock a little bit so he's just spackling and then he's going to sand it and get it all straightened out okay here we are at day two we let the spackle um, dry overnight my husband's going to sand today and after my husband sand our daughter is coming over and she's going to help me paint this guest bathroom but guys now you know whenever you when whenever you start sanding those particles and that stuff goes everywhere so my husband's going to make sure that he closed the door to to try to contain it in that you know in just in a bathroom area I just wanted to show y'all something here's our grandson he spent the night over and we was eating breakfast early this morning and at the breakfast table he kept getting sleepy so I told him to go lie down so he went and got a blanket and lie down and put his little dog Callie on a blanket to lie down with him so now he know that we don't usually allow pets on our furniture but since he put Callie on a blanket and she was looking all comfortable I let her stay there Okay guys, yesterday I stopped filming because I had to run out to the stores to pick up a few items that I'm going to show you now. This light set for the bathroom I purchased at Lowe's and I paid um, $70 for it. The faucet set I purchased at Home Depot, I paid $119. The um, paint I purchased at Home Depot. And I paid $31.98. And the two cans of white spray paint, which is for another project, I paid $7.96. They were $3.98 a piece. The little rollers that's on top of the paint set, I paid $5.37. And for the oval bevel shaped mirror, I paid, uh, let me just find it. I paid $53 and I purchased that at Lowe's. Okay, here I am in the bathroom, removing the shower curtains, taking those down. I'm going to take my towels down. I'm going to throw them in a the wash. I'm going to take every item out of this bathroom before my husband starts sanding so that when he comes in here to sand, the room is empty and he can do just what he needs to do to get it done in this bathroom. What you been up to, drinking all night Who's that right by your side Why don't you tell me now Oh, why you calling me late at night Saying you need a ride When you don't tell me why I got a thing about you You got a thing about me too so while my husband's in the bathroom um, sanding the walls, I figure I'll go ahead and start washing the um, shower curtains and the towels. So here I am just throwing these shower curtains into the washing machine. And um, I figure this is the best time to get it done. So I'm here I have some pods that I'm going to throw in there. I'm going to add some laundry sanitizer. And I'm also going to add some fabric softener. Sorry is a word to you when you don't show on time, when you go out of line. Yeah. Now, right here, I'm just sorting through the towels. I'm separating the lights from the dark towels so I can wash them separately. I'm also going to wash the uh, rugs that was in the bathroom. Now my husband is asking me for a mask as he started on um, sanding. I am so glad he came back and got that mask because he's going to really need it. You got a thing about me too, but you keep playing with my feelings. Okay, sanding is all done and 
this is how it looks my husband went over it a few times um, you know the walls have some imperfection in it but you know hey that, that's how it is but guys take a look at the mess what a mess I mean it's everywhere the floor is covered that's one thing I do not like about Sandy. It goes everywhere. It's a hot mess in here. Not only is it on the floors, but it's all over the walls too. It's on everything. I mean, the tub, the toilet, it's everywhere. And you know why he closed the door and it's still some in the hallway and came in the living room. I mean, it's on the floor in our living room. Can you believe that? That stuff went everywhere. It's gonna be a mess to clean. Okay, here I am back at the washing machine, adding those towels to try to get them washed before I tackle that project that's in the bathroom. What a job. Here I am with my vacuum cleaner. I'm adding my attachments so I could go in this bathroom and get all of this dust and particles up. And you know what's funny? Now we have a shop vac, and I didn't think to use to go get the shop vac and try to get this stuff up. But I guess my mind was elsewhere. I wasn't thinking. Now it's time to vacuum. I got up as much as I could with the attachment. Now it's time for me to vacuum the floor to see how much more I can get up. And I think it's doing a pretty good job. Okay, now that I'm done vacuuming, I think the vacuum did a pretty good job. Now I brought in a bucket of water and I'm using a microfiber cloth and I am wiping down the walls in this bathroom. Now I have to wipe down all the walls in this bathroom because these particles went everywhere. And my daughter and I have to come in here and paint this bathroom. So I really need to get as much of this stuff off these walls as possible. Now, I don't know if you noticed it or not, but I changed clothes. I went and put on my project clothes because I'm getting ready to paint. I should have had them on from the beginning. So keep on dancing, baby. Well, here I am on my hands and knees wiping down these floors. I'm trying to get these four floors clean and to get rid of all that dust from that sandy. Okay, 
here is the paint color, Cottage White. I just wanted a nice clean look in this bathroom. I just figured I'll go ahead and start painting until my daughter gets here. I can, you know, give it a head start. But for some reason, guys, as I'm stirring this paint, it seemed a little thin to me. So let's see how it's gonna work out. Okay, now this is how it's looking. Guys, I am not liking it at all. That paint is thin, it's not right, something is wrong. Because in some areas, I even went over twice already and it's still looking blotchy. You know what, I, I think this paint gonna wind up going back to Home Depot because I'm not gonna deal with it. It's just too much to deal with. Let's try to love you and me. Okay guys, when my daughter came over, we returned that paint and they gave me a hard time and I bought the PPG Timeless Paint, the complete one coat coverage. Okay, they tried to give me a hard time at Home Depot because we had that little register, little girl at the register that was like the paint police, but they wind up exchanging it. But they say Home Depot do not exchange paint once it's tinted. So not only did I change the paint, I changed the paint color. My daughter and I came back, we painted the walls and got that done. So now the bathroom is all painted and I love the color. It is slate gray and it's looking pretty good. And it went on so nice, so smooth without any problem. It, the coverage was great. I mean, I really love this paint. Okay, the bathroom is done. It's all finished and I love how it turned out. I mean, I think that uh, everything that we bought looks nice in the bathroom. Some stuff we had in there already, except like the mirror, the vanity. We added some flooring, the paint color has changed. So we did, you know, quite a few things in here. But I'm gonna open up the door and reveal to you our new bathroom. Now, I love it. Some of you may like it, some of you may not, but we love it, okay? So here it is. I love the lighting fixture in here and also the oval-shaped mirror. Looks beautiful and it goes very well with the vanity. Now look at this vanity, guys. And look at the details on this vanity. This is an espresso finish with granite countertop, granite backsplash, porcelain sink, and they all complement each other. I mean, look at the craftsmanship. It is beautiful. It's like furniture in your bathroom. Now, the make of this vanity is Lanza. This is a Lanza vanity, and the craftsmanship is gorgeous. I just love how the bronze faucet looks on top of the granite. Everything complements each other, and I am loving it, guys. I really love this piece. And we purchased it for less than half of the retail value. Here it is for $1,069. Okay, and we purchase a half of the retail value. Now, what a great, great deal! And live my life off screen, taking time out to be and live my life. Personal, we just building this.
the seas and lay foundation Make a name for generations Please and make a and take a break Or a little vacation and chase and blues away hey, hey. You always posting up pictures Trying to look like you winning Or look like you always be working now right here, I try to do something different with our towels. The S is our initials of our last name, but I try to fold it a little different to give it a different look and feel in the bathroom. I'm on hiatus. Now right here is our little potty monkey and we named him Chimbo. And he's just the cutest little thing in the bathroom. He's a great conversational piece. Guys, I just love how everything turned out in this bathroom. It just looks so beautiful to me. I'm loving it. I hope you love it too. And please um, like, comment, and share. And please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye-bye.